How the human mind constructs a thought and applies it into language is called psycholinguistics. Speech is one of the natural activities that we, as humans, engage in. Unlike many other learned activities, virtually all humans learn a language and any human baby can learn any human language, not dependent on what language parents used to speak. Only humans learn language. It is one of the unique abilities that distinguishes us from all other animals. Psycholinguistics deals mainly with language understanding, production and acquisition. It is a part of cognitive science that comprises psychology, linguistics, anthropology, neuroscience and computer science. The neurology of language functioning is of current interest to psycholinguists, particularly to those studying sex differences, aphasia, language after congenital or acquired injury to the immature brain and developmental disorders of language which is known as dysphagia. Some psycholinguists have also extended their interests to experiments in non-human language learning, like language of gorillas, chimpanzees etc. to discover if language as we know it is a uniquely human phenomenon. Theories related to psycholinguistics, there are four major theories that are related to psycholinguistics. These are behaviorist theory, innate theory, cognitive theory, Social Interactionist Theory Behaviorist Theory The behaviorist theory of language learning emphasizes that language learning is a process of habit formation. Language learning involves a period of trial and error where the child tries and fails to use correct language until it succeeds. Infants also have human role models in their environment that provide the stimuli and rewards required for operant conditioning. For example, if a child starts babblings, which resembles appropriate words, then his or her babbling will be rewarded by a parent or loved one by positive reinforcements such as a smile or clap. Innateness Theory Noam Chomsky's Innateness Theory, or Nativity Theory, proposes that children have an inborn or innate faculty for language acquisition that is biologically determined. It seems that the human species has evolved a brain whose neural circuits contain linguistic information at birth and this natural predisposition to learn language is triggered by hearing speech. The child's brain is then able to interpret what she or he hears according to the underlying principles or structure it already contains. Cognitive Theory A child first becomes aware of a concept such as relative size and only afterward do they acquire the words and patterns to convey that concept. Essentially it is impossible for a young child to voice concepts that are unknown to them and therefore once a child learns about their environment then they can map language on to their prior experience. An infant's experience of a cat is that it meows, is furry and eats from a bowl in the kitchen, hence they develop the concept of cat first and then learn to map the word kitty on to that concept. Social Interactionist theory children can be influenced by their environment as well as the language input children receive from their caregivers. The child is a little linguist analyzing language from randomly encountered adult utterances. The interaction theory proposes that language exists for the purpose of communication and can only be learned in the context of interaction with adults and older children. That was all for today's lecture. In some other video. We shall discuss more concepts that comes under psycholinguistics. Till then, stay tuned with us, take care of yourself and keep watching our videos. Thank you.